My name is James Cherry. I'm overseeing the Advanced Biocomputing Center, which deals with a lot of the informatics for up here in Frederick National Laboratory. I get to work with some amazing scientists, and it's fun. One of the other hats I wear besides the scientific program director is the scientific advisor for all the students that come to campus. One of the missions at the NCI is to train the next generation. So we have what's called the Warner H. Christian program, which is high school students in the area. They work side by side with the scientists, but sometimes they'll come to talk to me about other things as well. Someone did that for me. I feel I need to play it forward. My grandmother played a major role. She was a principal in New York City Public Schools. To her, education was the key to all the success. No one can take education away from you. She told me that all the time. My grandmother passed away of ovarian cancer. So when we lost her, I kind of, you know, I didn't understand it, didn't understand, you know, why, you know, what happened. And so that, for me, that was probably, I think, the first spark. I went to a small liberal arts college in, in West Virginia, Shepherd College at the time, now it's Shepherd University. I was on a football scholarship. I was an econ major. I wasn't even a biology major. I thought, you know what, I'm going to play football for a while, four more years, I'll graduate and go do something in business. But for those of you that know liberal arts colleges, you have to take all of classes. And that was probably my first introduction to a mentor. This individual, Dr. Lundy Jank, came to football games. He lived in town, him and his wife. And um, I took his general biology class and I ended up having the highest grade in the class. And he thought, well, God, what's your major? And I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's econ. He says, well, why? And I said, it's, I don't know. And he just kept hounding me and said, look, you need to... You need to think about doing biology, you know, this is where you need to go. So that's kind of how it happened, more or less. <laughs> so when I graduated from Shepherd, I really didn't know what I wanted to do yet. I had gotten accepted to John Hopkins to the master's program. I was working that summer before I went to Hopkins at a small biotech company. Dr. Robert Homan, who is the deputy chief down at NIAD, was the chief scientific officer. Dr. Homan took me under his wing and we worked on chemistry platforms and my thesis project. After that, he said, you know what, you need to get your PhD. When you get somebody like Jim that's young, smart, hardworking, and just really wants to advance, it just makes you feel good to be able to help somebody to move forward. He had the knowledge that I wanted. I didn't know anything coming out of undergrad, <laughs> and so I had to learn. Um, and he was always willing to teach me. I talk about Dr. Homan, I talked about Dr. Ledgerdink, Dr. Monroe, who is my advisor, who's a part of the Frederick National Laboratory, he played a role. But there's a number of them. I always say to my students that the NCI raised me, and they did. As a mentor, it's very important that you take a vested interest in the mentee. And that's what my mentors did, um, you know, from Dr. Monroe to Dr. Homan um, to, in my opinion now, Dr. Reynolds, who is mentoring me now. I think a lot of people confuse success with big house, big car, but I think it's who you touch. To hear about the kids that have worked in the laboratory that are moving on and maybe one day I'll, I'll be working for them, I don't know. Um, that's a success. Any student that wants to have a career in science, healthcare, or anything, it's, it's not going to be easy. But anything worth having is not going to be easy. Just hold on tight. It's a bumpy ride, but at the end of the day, it's going to be all worth it.